What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Teddy. Welcome back to episode three of season three of Kuroko no Basket titled, Don't You Get In My Way. What is up with that title? Please tell me Kisa is the one saying that. I love the names of their episodes. They're so sassy. <laughs> like just looking at the ones next as well, it's like, I'll take this for now. It makes me laugh. Girl, I cannot even remember the name of the character that we're up against. Can I be honest? Like. What the hell is his name? Haizaki, that's right. Oh my god, it's a nice name too to be wasted on this character. Anyway, Haizaki proved to be better than Kisei, whatever. And then suddenly this ability comes out where he steals the moves of people. It's not just straight up copying and that's it. No, he like actually steals it, makes it his own, confuses the player he's just stolen it from. And then our team's basically up in flames right now. And we're this meme that's like the dog that's like, this is fine. It is not fine, in fact. Also, we're not letting it slide that he literally stole Kise's girlfriend who was shitty to be honest so good riddance you know but still snaky behavior from top to bottom what can i say might as well paint the guy entirely in red doesn't suffice that his uniform's in red all the red flags are there just paint him red paint him red with a big no sign Anyway, let's continue. You guys, this morning I was waiting online to buy some five seconds of summer tickets and I got them and I'm so excited. The VA is doing an excellent job at making him sound absolutely mental. Oh, Ray. <clears throat> and suddenly they can't use it anymore. Please tell me this isn't permanent, by the way. Our players cannot just be out there like, you know, some guy copies your move and suddenly you cannot use it forever. Well, not forever, but even in this game. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Does he? He's as tall as you. <laughs> oh my. This is over tomorrow's clan right here. <laughs> Who plays in their sweater though? <laughs> no. <laughs> Weird shot. Yeah, y'all are really tense, obeying him like, uh, I don't know, you're his under underlings. Hopefully not. Coach, tell us something. We need to hear good advice. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Brew it up, sis. A bro. <laughs> Brew it up. Something's cooking. Get that desperation. Do the same! Block it as he did! Oh. He is pretty fast though. I can't be out here giving advice to Kisei, who's doing his best. Breathe, breathe, breathe! It's that leg. Don't say that. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. Why? Why get injured right before a game that's so important? 
Why push yourself so hard? Yeah. Girl, what's up with your pupils? I know. I would be so mad. Scream, yell some encouragement. Oh, thanks. Our own teammates. Oh, for fuck's sake, right now, really? Okay, really, really don't need you right now, so you can go and sit down on the bench and do whatever the fuck you want, but... Oh! Tell him! Tell him! Beep beep! That's so embarrassing that you're bringing it up as well so many years ago. <coughs> Go down there and uh, say like, hey Kisei, uh, we'll see you. Ah! Exactly what we needed. We believe in you. ちょうくんさ、あってに付きまとって彼女名乗られて、うんざりしてたんすよ、正直。プライド高くて自慢話ばっか。モデルと付き合ってるってステータスが欲しかっただけなんすよ。ああ、そうなんだ。ログルピ
っき言ってたっすね奇跡の世代の座を奪っちまおうと思ってあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあ今まで抵抗の勝利に貢献してきた<笑>だがお前は規制には勝てない近い将来スタメンの座を奪われるだろうそうなればプライドの高いお前は結局いなくなる証の言う通りだったってのが Yes He's always right basically whatever he says he's right I'll be surprised if there's ever gonna be a point where he's actually wrong てめえは強いならもうどうなろうが死んねえよ Maybe when we go up against him, he might be wrong. Oh, see, no. Yo, referee. Beep beep. You need glasses? Go, go. <laughs> Yes. Buzzer. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Me? Don't worry, you don't need him. Come on, baby, I think this is the last one. You there, I can't get over how this, how this guy looks so much like Tepe. <clears throat> you guys need to find a better captain. Sorry, wait, we what? <laughs> Y'all, I'm so slow. I'm like embarrassed. I didn't have time to be like excited or happy. Sorry, that was so such a lame reaction. <laughs> well, sometimes it happens, yo. Oh, don't even think about beating us up. That's why he was like, see you there. They're actually so similar. This though, this is the one difference. Shut the fuck up. Don't be a sore loser. Loss is a loss. <coughs> yeah, good luck. Goes back, trains twice as hard. Knock him out. Deck him. Thank you. I know I can count on you always. Leave him there. Whatever. Exactly. <laughs> Whatever. He'll figure it out. Don't even try to make me feel bad for him. Yo, can someone explain this to me? The furnace here. I've seen this in like the Senpai game. What is it called? Yandere Simulator? Do all schools have that? No, he's like the many who just say that but then don't actually mean it. <laughs> the fact that he's scared of Akashi as well, like, 
This hard ass. I don't know that it is. Looks like they're having fun. Kaijo Rakuzan, Seirin Shutoku. Oh, Kaijo and Seirin. Okay. Damn. Ooh. Look at him, pink cheeks. Who wouldn't absolutely love to have a child like Kuroko? Like, he's the kindest, sweetest. I keep saying that like every other episode. He's just like the nicest kid ever. Like, it would be a pleasure to have a child like that. Just so polite, so kind. <laughs> Causes zero trouble. The parents really did something there. I apologize that it's so embarrassing that I didn't realize they actually ended the game on that buzzer. What can I say? Deserved, honestly. I'm surprised this only took three episodes. I thought it was gonna be a longer match, to be honest with you, but knowing what's coming up, that's what's taking up the majority of the fucking season. <clears throat> Kaijo versus Seirin, long awaited battle. And then finally we're getting to this boy Akashi that I'm so honestly afraid of because the buildup to his character and his play style, his personality, his backstory, whatever it is, his eyes, it's a lot. It's like, how can I explain it? What can I compare it to? It's almost like the buildup when during like the pain arc in Naruto where you're like, who the fuck is pain? That's basically this. <clears throat> Knowing that we're playing against Kisei though, it means that both Kisei and Kagami have like some kind of injuries or you know, like everyone's also tired. Like the competition has been long and difficult. So you can say that everyone's kind of at their end, at their limit. I'm sure Akashi probably is not. <laughs> he probably hasn't struggled a day in his life so far. You know what makes me wonder? Like I have so many questions about him, but my main one being like, why Rakuzen? Because clearly he doesn't, he's very picky choosy about where he's going, the people that he's with. He had a lot of power when he was in Teiko. I wonder if it's the same now in Rakuzen. Did he pick out his team? Is he the captain? There were probably a lot of factors for him to go into that specific school. Also letting go of the generation of miracles, I can imagine was probably kind of hard for him. Or am I giving him too many feelings as a character? I would be really sad knowing that I compiled this amazing team of people and I got to choose who goes in it, who goes out and just kick people out in my own will. <laughs> that sounds so tyrannic. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Full reactions on Patreon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.